Hey, 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 it's Leo here with the Extra Mile. It's good to see you, and it's good to be seen. You hit me now? Listen, I tell you, it's it's awesome to be able to find new environments, to be able to bring you the Extra Mile. And in bringing you the Extra Mile today, I wanted to revisit something that I mentioned during the time where I was talking about the four keys uh, from Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. And I remember wanting to share about Will Smith's perspective regarding failure. And I actually said what the three points were, but for whatever reason, I thought that there was a third and there was not. I mean, a fourth, I'm sorry. And there was not. And so when I listened to Will Smith talk about fail early, fail often, and fail forward, I got excited, not just about those three statements, but how he said that those who really pursue being successful, they seek failure. They go after failure. That's, that's what our choice and prominent athletes do. They put their body under pressure. Um, people who want to be excellent in their thinking ability, they, they put their minds under pressure. And that's seeking failure. But why would we do that why would we have a good relationship with failure he said it it always bothers him when people have a negative relationship with failure and it's like most of the time we think that failure is negative but here it is he's saying have a negative relationship with a negative well obviously it's not a negative for him and other people who think like him it's a negative for those who don't see failure for what it really is. And one of the things I loved about what he said that really touched me deeply was when he said that when you put yourself under failure, constant failure, what you're doing is you're putting your body, you're putting your mind, you're putting yourself in situations and circumstances by design and choice in order to move from where you are to where you want to go. It's in order to seek a transformation, or as he said, that really touched me, an adaptation. So if you're seeking failure, that means you're seeking to do something that you've probably never done before, i.e. unlocking unlimited potential. And when you are seeking to unlock this unlimited, unfulfilled potential, you're actually going to have to do something on a continuous frequency repetitiously in order to get to a point to where you adapt to what it is and what it's going to take for you to operate in that mindset in that skill set in that ability in that level or whatever it may be and so one of the things i want to leave with you is not just what will smith said of fail early fail often and fail forward but i want to leave with you that the relationship you have with failure will determine the true relationship you have with success. And Henry Ford said this, failure is the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. You want to increase your intellect? Failure. You want to increase your skill set? Failure. You want to increase your ability to achieve and excel at the highest levels possible? Failure. Seek it. Go after what it is you want to go after and fail and learn from it and then fail again and learn from that and just keep extracting all of the learning, all of the ability, all the opportunities from it. And you'll find yourself experiencing that adaptation to where that positive relationship with failure becomes a positive connection with a bright, bright future. Hey, this has been Leo here with the Extra Mile. Until next time, take care.